Hi beautiful Taurus, welcome to my channel, my name is Katie. Today I am going to be doing a reading for this upcoming week starting up tomorrow, Monday, April 19th, uh, 29th. Sorry. I'm going to be doing this reading so you can check out what energies are going to be available this week. We are moving on into your powerful new moon in your sign. So let's see how that is going to manifest. This time around, I am not using tarot. I am using this oracle deck, which is stunning. It's called Work Your Light by Rebecca Campbell. Taurus upcoming week. I don't usually do weekly readings, guys. Don't get too attached to these because I do them when I have the time. My basic structure is more of a monthly reading, mid-month reading kind of thing. So, I mean, I hope I can get, continue to do them. I would love that. So let's see. What is the first message for Taurus for this upcoming week? Trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? Okay, you guys. So some of you might be feeling this kind of itch for something that you want to do or something that you need to walk away from for something that you want to begin or something you want to end something that is pulling you in or is pushing you out you guys are feeling that little itch inside of you and it's time for you to listen to that it's time for you to actually ask yourself okay so what does this mean <laughs> what am i actually feeling what is this trying to tell me for real because sometimes we feel that on the back of our minds or we kind of feel that a little bit in our hearts but we don't really go deep within it because there is no need this week maybe a situation is going to arise in which you're going to be kind of like confronted by something that is going to basically make you pay attention to that and see what it has for you. Get grounded. Empaths, highly sensitives, connect with nature. Okay, so Taurus is a very beautiful earth sign that is, to me, the kind of like the symbol of sensuality. So sensuality meaning how you experience the physical world, the world of the senses, touch, smell, taste, texture, texture, you know, like sensuality in the material, physical reality. So make sure that you guys are being grounded within your physical body through, through some kind of practice this particular week, especially around the new moon in your sign, because you can feel very scattered and very ungrounded on those days. Make sure to check out the video that I created. Um, it's called New Moon in Taurus for Taurus. So it's already uploaded in my channel. You can check it out to see how can you maximize this super powerful new moon that is coming up for you in your sign. Um, it is a very special time. So the best way I would personally suggest you to navigate this week based on these messages is to do something of your choice that makes you feel very connected to your physical body and the material world and in alignment with your energy, emotions, and thoughts. So a yoga class or a hot tub bath, get a massage, or um, go for a workout or run, you know, something that makes you feel so connected to yourself, to your physical body, and if possible, to nature as well. Going surfing, you know, doing something that makes you one with all there is, is going to be very special and very positive for you this week. And pay attention to that itch once again. Pay attention to what lights you up. Pay attention to what makes you truly happy. What brings in that pleasure that you can't even describe. That thing that makes you feel so high on life and happy and excited and just vibrant. What is it that makes you feel that way? How can you bring more of that into your life? How can you bring more happiness and bliss and joy into your life and how can you walk away from the things that have begun to feel this gray and just black and white how can you walk into color again let's see in rama where are you being called to journey to that's very interesting i feel like this is a constant message that is popping up for all signs in different ways and i feel like this new moon and this week 
is telling us, how can you choose your path based on what feels amazing to your soul? You know, usually when we're doing something that we're not entirely aligned with, it usually feels, usually feels very, um, like right, but not quite. Like you can feel like there's so many beautiful things about it, but it's just not quite right. There's a little tiny something that you could, you can't put your finger on that just doesn't feel completely aligned. So evaluate where you are right now, evaluate the things that you are working on and what feels completely 100% aligned and what feels just a little tiny bit off. Explore that feeling of offness. Explore what journey you're being called to embark on or start. And if you have to say no to that something, if you have to say no to that thing that doesn't feel completely aligned, if you have to listen to that itch or that niggle and say, you know what, this is not appropriate for me anymore, or this offer is just not going to work for me. If you need to say no, say no. Try to be very um, proud, I guess, or just certain in your personal truth and listen to that gut feeling and, you know, walk with it. Also, this is a card that uh, brings the message, wait, postpone, pause, or say no. So if you need to take some time to make a decision, take some time. If you need to explore this whole thing of what's aligned and what's not aligned, and if you need to take some time to just explore that, do it. Pause, postpone things if you need to. But ultimately, if you come to the conclusion that you need to say no, say no. It's okay. Maybe that's what the itch is telling you to do. That's your intuition, your higher self bringing that in. So then we have the last message, Mintakan, longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. Taurus is a very powerfully intuitive sign that is grounded with the material world, which is so important and so special. You guys have a path you belong to, and you can feel that. And you know very well what feels aligned, what feels off. Don't hurt yourself by keeping yourself out of the water. Look at this mermaid. She is longing to be swimming in the depths of this ocean. She's longing for the freshness, for the space, for the depth, for the emotional aspects of these waters. She's longing for it, but for some reason she finds herself sitting on a dry rock longing to go back home what keeps her here sitting in this rock i'm not sure what keeps you where you are what is keeping you out of your element why do you feel like you need to be out of your element who are you trying to satisfy by being out of your element longing for home belonging the original light workers go where you need to go it's calling you something is calling you are you paying attention taurus there might be a powerful new beginning starting with this new moon so please 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 make sure to check that video that is going to be very important for you new moon in taurus for taurus may 4th is already uploaded in my channel you can find it on the playlist about the new moon may and for this week, honestly, just pay attention, become the observer, and do things that get you grounded. That is going to make you feel wonderful and facilitate the whole thing. So yes, Taurus, I hope that you have a wonderful week. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and know that I am extending my offer for the Abundance Blueprint course for one more week. I intended that 
online course that is about how to manifest financial abundance through energy work for it to be on that discounted price till the end of April. But this new moon in Taurus is such alignment with that energy of that course. So I decided to extend the offer another week for those of you who want to do the course as we go through this new moon because it will be highly beneficial. So I'm going to leave all the information below. My name is Katie and I'm so glad to be able to share this with you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.